Go to your room. We're live with Culture Vulture. <laughs> Hey guys, this is The Boy Next Door. In recent years, we're going to be talking about how the concern of the destruction of the world's tropical rainforest are, have reached a global proportions. Alarm about the extinction of species, the permanent loss of potentially life-saving medical-derived plants, the irreversible damage to the delicate balance of the Earth's climate control, and the, tra the tragic disappearance of the indigenous cultures has captured the attention of millions of people around the world. Hundreds of organizations have formed and are doing their important part, which are addressing the virtually every, every level of the problem. And yet, rainforests continue to fall by some estimates at the rate of 10 million trees per day. Despite our best efforts, the disappearance of the tropical rainforests, like many other global economical and social environmental crisis seems beyond our ability to control. Obviously something more is needed, a new voice. Here is a video called A New Dream by the Pachamama Alliance. For more information, get on MySpace, Culture Vulture 805. Thank you guys. And make sure to stay tuned after the video, the rest of the show. The story of the encounter between the modern world and indigenous cultures has been a long and tragic one. The expansion of our world has almost always meant the destruction of theirs. This outcome has been understood to be just the unavoidable byproduct of the inevitable march of human progress. But today, in unexpected places around the globe, a whole new chapter of that story is being written. One of those places is here, in the Amazon rainforest in Ecuador. One of the most biodiverse and ecologically rich rainforests on Earth and a critical component in the life support system of our entire planet. These are the Achuar people, one of our planet's most remote indigenous groups. The Achuar are an ancient dream culture still living in harmony with their ancestral land, nearly two million acres of pristine tropical rainforest. In the late 1980s, the Achuar elders and shamans began having dreams and visions that a grave threat was coming to their people. The Achuar soon realized what that threat was, as they began to see what contact with the outside world and its thirst for oil was doing to the lands and culture of their indigenous neighbors. And so, the Achuar made a bold move. They reached out to create a partnership with the very world that was threatening to destroy them. In 1995, a call issued forth from the heart of the natural world that was heard thousands of miles away by a small group of people in the modern world. In the summer of that year, 
in a remote village in the rainforest, these two worlds came together. And the Pachamama Alliance was born. Through an absolutely miraculous set of circumstances, 12 of us were invited to visit the Achuar. And we began to sense that they knew that in their encounter with the modern world, that they could feel they were up against something that they didn't understand. And we knew that we had something to offer them. We could help prepare them for that. But we also saw that their passionate commitment to protect the natural world was something that we needed. We needed to take back to our part of the world and would be of great value to us. This was the basis of an amazing partnership. At the very beginning of our work with the Achuar, we learned that they are the key to the preservation of their territory. They are the ones with the passionate commitment to its protection. And so the focus of our work is to provide them with the skills and technologies that enable them to powerfully represent their interest to the outside world, to become the authors of their own future. The Pachamama Alliance organizes trainings and workshops in legal and collective rights, mapping, and land titling, as well as planning and accounting. The Alliance has provided the Achuar with solar-powered radios for communication. They have helped the Achuar establish an indigenous-owned aviation service. And they have supported ecotourism as an economic alternative for the region. Through its foundation in Ecuador, the Alliance now works with the Achuar both in Ecuador and Peru and has helped usher in a new era of cooperation among the Achuar and all of their indigenous neighbors, each of whom has now requested its own partnership. As a result, the Pachamama Alliance now works with indigenous groups who are custodians of more than 5 million acres of pristine tropical rainforest. Today, the Pachamama Alliance is recognized as one of the most effective organizations partnering with indigenous people in all of Latin America. With help from organizations like the Pachamama Alliance, we Achuar have become organized and united. Our federation is now recognized and respected. Knowing we have many friends and allies in the modern world helps us to be even stronger in our commitment to protect our world. Is this partnership working? Well, in 1997, the Ecuadorian government announced plans to open this entire region for oil development threatening millions of acres of primary rainforest. If this had been the old story, by now this territory would have looked like this. But because of the new chapter now being written, because of the strength of the indigenous organizations and the ongoing support of the Pachamama Alliance and its allies, this priceless natural treasure is still untouched, roadless and pristine. We know we do not yet have a permanent long-term solution for the conservation of this region. The press from the outside have not gone away. If we're ever going to truly protect this area, we're going to have to deal with root causes. From the very beginning, our indigenous partners told us that it was really, really great that we were working with them in the Amazon shoulder to shoulder. But that was only half the battle. They told us that if we really wanted to protect their lands permanently, we would need to go to work in our part of the world. And as they put it, we would need to change the dream of the North, the dream of the modern world. A dream rooted in consumption and acquisition without any regard to the consequences to the natural world or even our own future. Changing the dream of the modern world is certainly a daunting and some would even say an impossible task, but we took the request of the Achuar very seriously. Out of our work with them, we came to see that we in the modern world truly are in some kind of a trance, living in a dream that's threatening to destroy not only the rainforest and their way of life, but the health and well-being of our entire planet. Our society is on a completely unsustainable path, and experts everywhere are saying that we have a limited time to turn things around. And so even though we had no special qualifications and no special expertise, and certainly 